Hi everyone, my name is Miguel de Villa and I'm an applications engineer here at GoEngineer. Today I'll be presenting a deep dive into what's new with SOLIDWORKS 2020, Fundamentals and 3D Interconnect. SOLIDWORKS 2020 now features improved loading and open times for assemblies and drawings that were last saved in the previous version, being almost as fast when opening these files as if they were saved in a current version of SOLIDWORKS. Speaking of save times, initial save times of these older files are now improved with a new option which can be found under System Options, External References as the Force Reference Document to Save the Current Major Version option. When this option is checked, as it normally is by default, and I try and save my assembly, notice how it prompts me to save the reference components in the latest version of SOLIDWORKS the default behavior which I've come to expect. But when I clear that option in my system options and I hit save, I no longer get that prompt to save those components in the latest version of SOLIDWORKS. Now as I make any changes to my assembly and hit save, I'm only prompted to save the assembly itself. Specifically, now I only have to save files that I have individually modified in SOLIDWORKS 2020. This greatly reduces the need for any batch file conversion processes and allows you to save your files to the latest version as need be as you access them and modify them and bring them up to date. With the introduction of 3D Interconnect, Users gain greater flexibility when working with third-party and neutral CAD data with the ability to automatically insert these types of files directly into their assemblies and drawings without the need for translation. Now, in addition to the extensive list of supported file types, 3D Interconnect is now compatible with 3D DWG, DXF, and IFC files. And for all of these supported file types, Let's go ahead and take a look at the new functionality in 2020. Now, 3D Interconnect supports dragging and dropping these files directly into your assemblies and drawings as if they were any other ordinary SOLIDWORKS file. And you can begin using and integrating them into your design without any need for translation. This has been Miguel de Villa here with Go Engineer, presenting what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2020 Fundamentals and 3D Interconnect. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into these new features and stay tuned for our other deep dive videos on everything else that's coming up new in the latest release of SOLIDWORKS. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.